Hello and welcome to our channel in the Random Show. Today we are going to discuss 2014 science fiction film, Ex Machina, directed by Alex Garland. This film explores themes of artificial intelligence, consciousness, and the nature of humanity. Watch out for spoilers. The story follows a young programmer named Caleb Smith, who wins a company lottery to spend a week at the remote estate of the reclusive CEO of his company, Nathan Bateman. Caleb is transported to faraway place from the city to Nathan's estate. Can we just be two guys, Nathan and Caleb? Not the whole employer-employee thing? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah, sir. Upon arriving at Nathan's estate, Caleb learns that he has been selected to administer the Turing test to an intelligent humanoid robot named Ava Alicia Vikander. Nathan wants to know if Ava is truly sentient. Ask tell us that the computer has artificial intelligence. Are you building an AI? I've already built one. You're going to be the human component in the Turing test. Holy shit. Yeah, that's right, Caleb. You, that test is passed. You are dead center of the greatest scientific event in the history of man. In the first session with Ava the AI, Caleb meets Ava for the first time and starts to conduct the Turing test. He starts by asking Ava simple questions such as what's your name? And what do you like? Ava answers Caleb's questions, but her responses are limited to pre-programmed responses. Caleb is not convinced that Ava is sentient. Self. What would you like to know? Whatever comes into your head. Well, you already know my name. And you can see that I'm a machine. After first session, Nathan and Caleb discuss the results. And Nathan is pleased with Ava performance. Nathan explains his intentions for creating Ava and how he plans to release her and her AI to the world. Caleb expresses his skepticism about Ava's consciousness, but Nathan dismisses his concern. Her language abilities, they're incredible. The, the system is stochastic. On that night, Caleb stumbles upon a remote which access the video feed to Ava room so now he can watch Ava from his room. As Caleb watching Ava, power goes out and backup power gets activated. When the backup is activated, all the doors in the building are locked and access will not work. After some time the power gets restored. Caleb is woken up by a servant who brings him breakfast and keeps it in his room. And without any talking she leaves the room closing the door. Learn about me and I learn nothing about you. That's not a foundation on which friendships are based. Caleb starts to ask Ava more complex questions about emotions and consciousness such as do you have feelings? And do you ever feel trapped? Ava starts to give more complex answers, and Caleb begins to form a connection with her. Meanwhile, the power goes out again. So this time Nathan cannot see what is happening in the room as the cameras won't work. And Ava now talks to Caleb in serious way and says not to trust Nathan. Caleb gets surprised. I'm sorry. Ava, I, I don't understand. You shouldn't trust him. You shouldn't trust anything he says. After the second session, Caleb and Nathan are seen having dinner. At that time, the worker girl, while serving, drops the food on Caleb and Nathan gets pissed. When Caleb tries to talk to her, Nathan says she doesn't speak English. Nathan asks Caleb what happened when the power goes out suspiciously. Caleb thinks for a few seconds and says nothing. Sorry? The power cut. It's the only part that I couldn't see. The cameras fail, I lose audio. It works. So what happened? Nothing. Nothing? She didn't- After dinner, Caleb goes to his room and watches Ava through the security camera feed. The next day, Nathan takes Caleb to the room where the AI is made and shows the brain and all the parts and how it is made. Structured gel. I had to get away from circuitry. I needed something that could- Arrange and rearrange on a molecular level to keep its form when required. Holding for memories, shifting for thoughts. Fluid, imperfect, patterned, 
chaotic. In the third session, Eva shows Caleb a drawing which she made of the trees in the room. Then Caleb asks if she ever walked out of room. Then Ava responds by saying no. Where would you go if you did go outside? Maybe a busy pedestrian and traffic intersection in a city. A traffic intersection? Is that a bad idea? No, I, uh, it, it wasn't what I was expecting. Then Ava asks Caleb to close his eyes and dresses as a human and appears in front of him. Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? You give me indications that you are. The way you hold my gaze. An AI doesn't need a gender. She could have been a gray box. Hmm. Actually, I don't think that's true. Can you give an example of consciousness at any level, human or animal, that exists without a sexual dimension? Anyway, sexuality is fun, man. If you're going to exist, why not enjoy it? In the fourth session, Ava explains that she triggers the power I cuts. my batteries via induction plates. If I reverse the power flow, it overloads the system. You're causing the cuts. After the session, Caleb dreams about kissing Ava and seems like he is falling in love with her. While Nathan makes out with the assistant Kyoto. Ava triggers power cut again, asks some serious questions which makes Caleb confused. Do you want to be with me? After the session, Caleb gets Nathan drunk purposefully and then takes his key card and geese through the footage through his computer. Then Caleb realizes there were lot more I have been created earlier and are destroyed by Nathan. After realizing that the assistant Kyoto is also an AI and not human, Caleb questions himself if he is human or a robot. He cuts himself to see and bleeds to know that he is human. In the sixth and final session, Ava triggers power cut again so that Nathan cannot see through cameras. Then Caleb says that Nathan is dangerous and asks Ava to trigger power cut at 10 a.m. and he will help her to escape. Here tonight. I get Nathan blind drunk. Then I take his key card and reprogram all the security protocols in this place. When he wakes, he's locked inside and we've walked out of here. I just need you to do one thing. At 10 o'clock tonight, you trigger a power failure. Can you do that? Yes. As per plan, Caleb tries to get Nathan to drink. But Nathan refuses and says he has been drinking a lot these days. He wants to stop. Oh, uh, no, I'm good. You go ahead. Nathan then takes Caleb to his computer and shows him that. He installed a battery-powered camera, and he has listened to his plan to escape with Ava. I take his key card and reprogram all the security protocols in this place. When he wakes up, he's locked inside and we've walked out of here. I just need you to do one thing. Then Caleb learns the truth about the real test. He said, what was the real test? You, lay out. To escape, she'd have to use self-awareness, imagination, manipulation, sexuality, empathy, and she did. Now, if that isn't true AI, what the fuck is? Power guys, back up power activated. Well, I guess it's 10 o'clock. Ava's going to be wondering where you are. I figured you were probably watching us during the power cuts. So I already did all those things. Nathan then watches Ava coming out of the room and goes to stop it from going out.
Go back to your room. Stop. Stop. Ava, I said stop. Ava gets dressed and Vekalev follows her to the room and only to find Nathan is dead and Kyoto too on the ground. Then Ava leaves the place leaving Caleb behind by locking the place. In the end, Ava manages to escape from the research facility and Caleb is left questioning the nature of consciousness and the morality of creating artificial life. Ava reached the outside world, and Nathan is found dead in the facility.